All right. Uh, you can just we'll just we'll have a conversation here. So we are we're live again with another finalist for the Small Business of the Year Awards. This time I'm with Andrew Drow or Drow Andrew of uh, the Open Door uh, here in downtown Wassa. and um, and the the Open Door has been a finalist before. Yes. A couple times, right? Couple times. And and so I guess tell me um, and tell everybody who's watching a little bit about what you do in, in this organization. Sure, okay, so the Open Door, we um, opened our doors uh, just November 26, 2010. So we've been around for a little over 10 years. And our primary demographic is people coming out of jail and prison. We help the incarcerated with the reentry process back into the community. And that reentry process includes everything from skills to clothing, right? Yes. To, I guess if you could talk about some of the some of what it is that you, you offer these individuals. Absolutely, we started off with, with clothing was our primary uh, thing first. We have a big, very large clothes, clothing closet um, that's all donation, all donated uh, goods. And um, our primary focus at the time was to give people in the weather appropriate clothing. Because people coming out in January have their clothes from August on and that's not really conducive for Wisconsin weathers, winters. Um, so that was our primary thing. But then as we've grown, we've evolved. We started doing hygiene because we, we realized that was a need. Um, and then we started doing classes. And now what we mainly do is we're like a resource hub in Wausau. We, we, we find, um, find the resources that are available for people and try to help them. Like I, I was talking to somebody this morning, I said we basically hold their hands figuratively and literally and get them the, the resources they need and just help them with that process because no I mean, everybody's got a different different way of going about it. We just all have the same end result in mind, though. And I've heard you say before, um, you 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 keep very early hours. We do because of the that's the time that that uh, individuals are released from the jail. Is yes, that, is that yes. Correct? We open at five a.m. Um, every day, three hundred sixty five days a year. Um, on during the week, Monday through Friday, we open till noon, and then on weekends, we open till ten a.m. Uh, those are the primary times, like I said, when people are being released and we can offer them breakfast and we can get them started on their day before they go out and do whatever else they, the rest of are going to do during the day. If it's whether it's go down to Salvation Army for lunch, go to work. We've got a couple people that come here for coffee before they go to work in the morning. Um, their rides pick them up here. I mean, we, we can offer any of, any of those kind of, um, kind of services as well. Great. I'm going to just take a quick look at the camera, make sure, see if we have any questions coming in. Sometimes that happens. Um, no? Okay. So the, um, the next question I have for you is, the, tell me a little bit about the, um, uh, when you're going through the application process for the Small Business of the Year Awards, it requires you to kind of look back at where you started and mm -hmm. came from and where you are now. When you, had to, when you do that application, is there something that kind of you learned or that you learned this year about your organization as you looked at it? I think after, especially after last year being what it was, I think I learned that I always have more to learn. There's, there's so much about this job. When you're dealing with people, human beings, as opposed to anything else, you're dealing with everybody is going to be different. I can meet a thousand people a year and every one of them is going to have a different story, a different past, a different future. The different needs, depending on what they are coming out of, especially coming out of incarceration, depending on how long they were in for, whether they've got family on the um, still, you know, in, um, in their lives, basically. Sure. Um, I, I deal with the mothers, I deal with the fathers, you know, when, when they've got their kids, that dad situation. Um, like I said, I've always, always got more to learn. And as I go through thinking about it, there's different stories. And um, some of the stories can curl your hair <laughs> they're, but but you know but they're, but they're people these are human beings and I'm a very strong believer in second chances I guess that's probably why I do what I do <laughs> so sure and when you think about your organization um, is there anybody in particular or, or any other in individuals that you'd like to recognize as far as their role in making the open door of the organization that it is today absolutely I would say um, when we started eight years ago uh, excuse me, 10 years ago, there was eight of us. There was eight co-founders. And I would say of, of all of them, four of them are still on the board, me being one of them. Um, our board president, our um, uh, past secretary, uh, just, you know, 
our past treasurer, they're all still on the board and everything. So I would have to say the eight people that started this organization saw what it could be, saw the need and decided that, that we could do something about the need that, that we saw in the community. That's great. The, um, anything else that you'd like to, to share about what you do here? I guess, as far as the open doors concerned and stuff, I can't imagine doing anything else but what I do. This, I mean, what other job can you have that you can go to work every day and you're going to help somebody? You know you're going to be able to do something for somebody else. That's the best feeling in the world. <laughs> it really is. And um, tell me, the um, next week we're going to see you at Athletic Park? Yes, we'll be there. All right. So a reminder to everybody out there, um, next week, Wednesday, the Small Business of the Year Awards will be held at Athletic Park. The program starts at 4. Um, we'll name the recipients in three different categories. The business to consumer, business to business, and charitable nonprofit, which mm -hmm. is the Open Doors a, a finalist thing. Yep. And, um, and that program is also going to include um, a special recognition for uh, outgoing NTC president, Lori Wires. And, um, and at the same time, uh, we'll get the, after the program's over, you'll be able to take tours of the newly remodeled athletic park. Oh, we'll There'll be some time for networking, which I know a lot of our members are um, extremely hungry for. And so um, we encourage you to, to buy tickets for that event. You can go to lossachamber.com and, and reserve your place uh, for next week, Wednesday. Sounds good. <coughs> okay. Well, thanks, uh, Ann. Yeah. Thank we'll you. wrap up, and uh, thank you for watching. Thank you. All right. Now.